guys, it's Joe again. Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to make the tangential tool holder. Um, I'll bring you in a little closer here in a second to show you what I got, but basically we're going to make use of the knurled holder leftovers from our quick change um, set up here. So um, I got some stock here and I got a plan. And, um, Let's get to it. Okay, so what we got here is your standard tool holder that you get when you buy one of these uh, tool post sets. And uh, this one, you know, is typically for facing. And then you get this knurler here, which uh, if you watch my knurling video uh, a couple episodes ago, um, you would have seen me taking these out of here because these push against the work and apply a large force to the to the lathe uh, apron and cross slide and all that. So um, I don't use these. I use the scissor type. I have no use for these whatsoever. So I figured I would turn one of these into a tangential tool holder. Um, so the plan that I have is uh, I've got some flat stock. I'm going to uh, mill it down so it fits in this slot here. And, uh, you know, screw it with these screws. I still have them. And um, then we'll mount the tool bit in here at a tangent to the work. And, uh, you know, hopefully this thing will work. So um, I got a piece of nice flat stock from that garage sale I hit last year. This is one by half ground flat stock. A little overkill for this, but it's all I have. It's approximately the right size. And um, I want to make a round tool bit so um, it's easy to grind, number one, and it has a big radius on it so that you get a nice smooth finish. So what I'm going to do is use an old end mill or something that's broken. I just happen to have this box of dead soldiers here. And um, we'll give one of them new life. Now we've got a piece of carbide in there. Maybe we'll use that. That'd be interesting. Okay, so cut off a piece of stock, it's over in the mill. You want to make it fit this gap. So you could, you know, take your guesso meters, as Keith calls them, and come up with something. 390, 385. But the real accurate way to do it, and this has probably been shown a million times on the internet, is to take some adjustable parallels, fit them in the gap here. Take a mic. Might be outside. Okay, that mic's out to three eighty eight. So uh, three eighty seven seven. If you want to get technical about it. So um. That piece I've got over there is um, a half inch and it's, you know, accurately ground. So if I take uh, 500 and subtract uh, 380, well, we'll make it 388. That's 112 thousandths i got to take off of that. And hopefully it'll fit into this. So um, let's get to milling. All right, I got a half inch carbide end mill in here. Get my cut off piece of stock. We're going to take off uh, 112 thousandths. So get this thing zeroed out. I'm going to spin this end mill. It's a carbide end mill. I'm going to spin it at 750. <laughs>
good. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just gonna cut this down to the right size and uh, probably crank it up to 1500 just for yucks. Seems to be cutting quite nicely. So, um, you know, get back to you when it's when it's there. Okay, so we finished the milling. Got our block nicely fitted. So next thing we'll do is uh, drill a couple of holes to hold it in there. And then we'll start thinking about the angle that we're going to cut. Now I'm thinking, uh, if I'm using a round bit, I may have to uh, slit this and put a screw in there to clamp the bit. We'll see as things progress. Okay, so what I did off camera was to uh, mount that block in between here and with center punch. What do they call those things? Um, you know, the centering punches, the hole punches. I, uh, I put center pot marks here in the block. And uh, I used a wiggler to find it. So I, I'm, I'm assuming you've seen this all before, but let's just show it for the heck of it. That's how you find the approximate center there. So I've got those two zeroed out in my DRO. These are going to be uh, quarter inch clearance holes. So we're going to drill them with a center drill first. We get that set up and uh be back. Okay, center drilled it. Now I got a quarter inch bit in there. We'll go right through it. Okay, we'll see how this fits now. Alright, so here we are. I got this mounted in here. I'm real happy with the fit. Everything goes together nice and sweet. So now I gotta think about drilling drilling my angled hole here for this bit to be sticking out like like that. Actually it's gonna be down down here because that's going to be center height so it'll be it'll be down lower so um, we get some stuff set up in the mill get some angles set up and we'll drill that hole actually we're going to have to mill it in the milling cutter so we get it flat and then we can drill it so we'll show you that all right get this mounted in the vise at a 15 degree angle and uh got a quarter inch end mill in there we're going to uh Cut a flat so that our drill will go in straight and won't we'll walk. So here we go.
think that's good enough to get a drill going in there. Anthony bit here. Oh, yeah, it's in good. Alright, let's put a grind on this thing and see what happens. Alright, um, I drilled the hole, but the bit wasn't as tight as I would like it to be. It wasn't a press fit. So what I'm going to do is uh, I, drilled a, I drilled a hole, you can't see it because it's behind the saw, but it's uh, threaded for a 1032 for a pinch bolt. And now I'm going to slot this thing so that when I crank down on that pinch bolt it grabs the bit. So uh, got the mill set for uh, 100 RPM and we're just going to cut right through this, hopefully. Actually, that kind of looks a little fast to me, so try 50. get it cleaned up and uh, we'll see how it fits. Alright, I got a piece of carbide in there. It's uh, a little short for what I have in mind, but it'll work for the demo. It's a piece of 4140 pre-hardened, which is like pretty much the toughest stuff I've got here. So uh, I'll dial in a, a 5000's cut to see what that does. Good finish. Now, uh, let's dial in 10 thou. See what that does.
say that's pretty much the nicest finish I've ever seen on this lathe with a tool bit. Okay, there's the finish I've just put on this thing with my tangential cutting tool. It's pretty great. Okay, let's try aluminum. Alright, I got a piece of brass in here now. Let's see what happens. Ten thousandths cut. Like a mirror. Alright, let's try the aluminum just for the heck of it. It's amazing. And they're easy to grind.